images are often difficult to make out as anything more than optical noise. It is important to concentrate on any pattern you might first notice. The voice you hear is not my own. It is merely a vessel, adrift in the etheric sea. Transmitted from distances unknown. Forms of which poetry and legend have cut a flying memory and called them gods, monsters, mythical beings and spirits of all sorts and kinds. On February 17, 2009, the FCC will add dead air to the acres of dead media, pulling the plug on analog television broadcasts. Already, dedicated researchers are patrolling the ether, honing in on novel transmissions, formerly blocked by high-powered commercial signals. Before we give up on ghosts, let us consider the advantages of obsolescence. Photoresistor, photocell, housed in some sticky tack, and with a eighth inch jack attached, which I can um, attach to the television screen, and then use the image to control to control the sound. So let me get it a little bit brighter. for the new lands to be uncovered with the end of analog broadcasts. Previously, electronic voice and image phenomena has been relegated to the margins, limited to a few dedicated engineers and the scant array of empty channels found late at night. As witnessed in 1924, there have been glimmers of hope public access to other worlds. When Mars was looming close to the Earth, commercial broadcasts were temporarily suspended so that the Red Planet could be heard loud and clear. Four groups of dashes, in groups of four, were reported when the planets were closest. wind or the sun, well what's in the air around us, there's all these waves, you know, this, this communication, there's, and it's kind of like almost a natural thing that at any given point there's like all these radio and television waves and cell phone waves just flying around right now. Um, and if you put it on uh, talk radio and just hear a voice talking, use it to control an oscillator, uh, it doesn't sound, you can't really hear the voice coming through, you hear the oscillator responding to the voice. Uh, which is a little more sporadic sounding than if you just take kind of in between stations, just kind of like the blast of noise, and use that. That sounds a lot more random. I don't usually think about like supernatural phenomena that much. I mean, I actually do, but I don't necessarily, you know, think of ghosts or spirits coming through. But to me, it's adequate enough that electricity is alive, that anything with energy is 
condemning and should be respected to some degree, so. Obsolescence is the moment of superabundance. The end of analog broadcast centers is all manner of etheric patrols, from 40 an electronics to extraterrestrial probes, from modular synthesis to otherworldly exchanges. Patrolling the ether will be celebrated without interference. End of transmission.